501 Rough Monroe. All the brick will be delivered. It's a big one. All right, so we're building an extended porch out of overfields. We're overlaying the porch. We're putting a bullnose coping around the whole thing and we're building a walkway. And we're using a cream bullnose to go around. Uh, we're also building four pillars. Um, we're using a cream, uh, and they're going. And the wall block is going to be made of smooth flagstone, smooth, and the caps will be smooth. But the caps we use are smooth. They, they, they got a rough one that we've never used. But anyway, bullnose, white, flagstone, Lexington, Munster D pattern everywhere, including the walkway. The walkway is going to have a white soldier course. I'm sorry, let's go sailor because it's super thin. A white sailor course. I'll get, um, I'll ask them if they have Lexington in white, but it might have to be, uh, I should say cream, but it might have to be the Plymouth Holland Stone that you do the soldier course with. And everything is going to be box shaped. We're going to draw a string line out, 10 feet, free, uh, right angle, 10 feet from the porch. And wherever it ends at 10 feet, cut that concrete out and extend the porch out there. I think it's like somewhere in this area. And you're going to go straight across. And you're going to connect to this porch. And it's bullnose coping the whole way around. And it's going to be nice because you can level your first block there. And then obviously all you have to do is come down a quarter bubble this way uh, for the porch. And... It could even be relatively flat. You're coming out so far. Um, you know, you're gonna have some co complex string lines that you know, you're gonna have to run based on the, this porch here and just make sure it goes that way, goes that way and connects properly. Uh, and then whatever the slopes are, they are. So you might wanna see if there's already a slope on the porch and it's already running, you can just build this flat. As long as this is so wide open, it doesn't matter. It'd make it a lot easier. And if you build it flat, it'll be higher up. So that might look better. Um, and I didn't count for a step inside because I didn't see it dropping that much because the porch is only up that much. But if it requires a step between the pillars that you're building, well, build one. But I don't think you'll have to. So anyway, I did mention that in this area here where the bullnose coping would come out, there's going to be an interruption. If you think you can glue, glue a bullnose coping here, you know, go ahead. But they don't mind if it's looking like that. Maybe even take like a white paver and just put it down in there so it's not concrete. But I don't know. That's the minutia. You'll figure that out when you get there. Uh, we are not overlaying the side of the concrete unless you really want to. Uh, I did not say we would be doing that. Uh, just the top. And I did notice a couple cracks, but nothing that was in the way of getting a paver flat. They're mostly secure. Um, all right, and this is all Lexington pavers all the way out, and then we're building a walkway. And she really hates how this walkway is over here and the door is over there, and I would too. So, 10 feet out, about right here or so, we're going to be putting in a three foot wide walkway, and on either side, two foot pillars. The walkway is going to come out two feet, two or three feet, just ask her because I'm not sure. What I'm getting at is in this space right here, there's going to be a bed forming because we're coming straight out and we're going straight in. And it's a three foot wide walkway. And when you get here, it's going to be two pillars on the side. So maybe this space here, because she didn't want a lot of space in here because she doesn't want plants, nothing. She's going to put some white rock in there. So this space here, try to minimize it. Uh, the pillars are about 18 inches wide, so maybe make an 18 inch bed. But then the pillar will be right up against the um, the porch, so maybe don't do that. So maybe do two feet. I figured it for a three foot bed. So if you just want to do a three foot bed, so that way that pillar has some definition here off of the raised patio, that'll probably be better. And if you want to straighten the pillars out, um, just cut that concrete all the way to where your walkway is coming in and then build your walkway into the into the concrete. Otherwise, you'll have to have pillars that are not square with the rest of this installation. 
which is fine if you want to do that. Um, but it's probably going to look funny with the, well, I don't know. Yeah, you might have to cut some of it out because if you want to get these square, this, this is not square. So you have to cut concrete out over here to get your pillars and walkway in to some degree. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to be getting smooth blocks. Everything will be delivered, so your retaining wall will be smooth. And I'm going to try to find uh, cream tops. And when you do the pillars, we're not doing bullnose coping. We're just doing the retaining blocks turned the other way, like the old school pillars. Uh, so if you have any questions, give me a call. All right.